This is Dylan G, a former professional tennis player ranked inside the world's top 1500 for singles and 1000 for doubles. And you might also know him from his Instagram account, Tennis with Dylan, where he has more than 450,000 followers and documents his coaching journey along with much more. Today, we're facing off in a tiebreak to 10, and as always, I'm gonna be asking him some fun questions along the way. We actually met up during the week where I was in Indian Wells. We played on this amazing court with one of the nicest backdrops I've ever seen. We hit for about 15 to 20 minutes just to fill the groove and get on court with each other, which was quite nice, and then we went straight down to business. Let's see what happened. Also? Mm-hmm. I'll say so, man. Yep, good match. Vamos. Court's bounced super high. Gonna try and utilize that to my advantage. Love kick serving, serving and volleying. I think that'll work well. Nice and deep with spin. That's the closest I'm ever going to feel to John Isner. Yeah. I might as well run on the second court. Yeah. Good start, good start, good start. Let's go. Being aggressive. I feel so much better than last week. It's because I haven't hit a backhand yet. to get a replay whether that was one or two bounces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I just about got there. We're at slightly higher elevation here, so the ball just goes through the air so much more. Like that drop shot was so high. Good start, 4-2. Where we want to be. Um, uh, of course, Dylan, a little bit about yourself. You were actually a pro player yourself. Yeah, and I played on the, now a coach. So I played on the tour for one year. Mm -hmm. I had a few uh, three ATP singles points, got about a thousand doubles. Solid. And uh, played with some amazing people around the world. Gave my best shot, but I had a fortune to have a sponsor for that one year. So yeah. it gave me the access to be able to do that. And now I divert a little bit into the coaching group. When you are playing tournaments, what would you say would be your go-to cheat meal? You know, you've won an ATP point. It's gassed. Oh. Do you have a cheat meal? Do you have a, a reward meal? Do you eat something healthy and carry on and say, like, I'm not done yet? What, what's your For style? For me, it's bag bowl. Yeah. The go-to spag bowl. But no, that would always be my go-to. I knew I could have that daily and <laughs> help me go through the tournaments. Trying to be aggressive. Just. Who is your least favorite person you've ever practiced with? The session you found the toughest, the session that you found most uncomfortable because I've heard a lot of things from players playing with Novak that it's really uncomfortable playing with him. Really? Yeah, just he gets really angry and he doesn't want people to miss. I've had some uh, funny story about Tommy Haas getting really angry on court. I haven't had anyone actually lose it. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I think when it comes to like training and matches and things like that, some people would choose not to play with me because I'm a lefty. Yeah. So That's I'd a good be, point. I, would, I would book a training session with them and be like, guys, let's go on the court at 10.30. Here's a slot, and then they would flip it and be like, "Sorry, but I'm playing a righty, so I don't know how to play with you anymore." And I'm like, "Damn, I've now how am I supposed to prepare yeah, yeah. for my matches now?" Yeah, yeah. What's the biggest tournament you ever played? Copenhagen Open. Same as you. There we go. Played, uh, Both have the same answer. Played Lucas Rosol in uh, doubles. Nice. Who did you play well. with? Uh, Florian Broska. He played for Mississippi State. Yeah. Yeah, he he really hit that ball well. <laughs> tough, tough. 
Right guys, six all at the change of ends. Strategy here is gonna be try and come forwards a little bit more and stick the volleys. Definitely think on serve, I'm gonna to have to use serve and first ball effectively. Just try and go for it here. There's nothing to lose. Just try and play my best tennis. Gotta make him play. I'm quickly there, but I didn't execute. So easy to just sit back, wait for the ball to bounce to you. You've got to get up to it. This is a big point here. Sorry, so sorry, man. <laughs> Damn it, he's got away with that. Two questions in one, really. What would you say would your tennis dream would be? And number two, could we see a Dylan G come back on the tour? So let's start with question number one. Yeah. My dream is to play with Roger at Wimbledon. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty, pretty I know, big I know. Dream. That's a big dream. My, that's that's an honest dream of mine. Just ago. a little feel, maybe. Little feel. Court, just yeah. a few volleys, a little bit of a, okay. And what would you say um, about the second question? If I were to come back, I've had a big think about this. Yeah. Before. I don't think I am going to come back. Not for you? No. Not even, a, not even a one or two tournaments? You never know, I might do that. I'm just loving the coaching side. Mm -hmm. That's something I've always dreamed of doing. Enrich that, build a yeah. tennis community. So it's, it's a maybe. Maybe me and Dylan might team up for a doubles <laughs> event many years yes. down the line. <laughs> right, so of course, as we know, you're mega famous on Instagram now. <laughs> no. um, what would you say would be your biggest pro and biggest con from making content online? So the biggest pro is coming to amazing, incredible places like this. Can relate like to yourself. that. Relate I to mean, that. being in Palm Springs and going to the Indian Wells Tennis Tournament has always been a dream of mine. What was your the biggest struggle? I think it's creating content and filming it for myself to yeah. not only edit, but also yeah. dedicate that time in my week because I'm still yeah. coaching. I feel like um, social life and uh, relationships and other factors yeah. can not always uh, align. Fair enough. Cool. Good stuff. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Gone for it. Am I gonna regret it? Oh wow! Too good. Too bad. Oh, thank you, mate. Too.